I want you to pay close attention because I'm going to show you something super cool that you've never seen before. I have a problem. I sell products and people leave comments about those products. And I would like to use a large language model to classify those comments. The problem is that I don't know how to do that. So some people told me that I should fine tune a model, but I don't know how to fine tune a model. And that is what I'm going to use this Monster GPT for. Monster GPT is a GPT created by Monster API. I have an account on their site. Here is my uh, Monster API dashboard. I've used this before to fine tune models, but the problem is that I'm not sure how to organize my data set. I don't know what data set to use to fine tune that model. People told me that Mistral 7B is a good option for me to fine tune. So let's use this GPT not only to understand what data set to use and organize the data, etc., but also to actually create a fine tuning process and deploy the final model to a production environment that I can use it right away. That's super, super awesome. I'm going to start by telling the GPT what I want to do. I want to fine tune Mistral 7B. So this is what I want to do. Uh, let's see what happens here. It says to get started with fine tuning the Mistral 7B model, I need to authorize you first. Could you please provide your email address? This will allow me to send you a one-time password. Okay, so obviously I need to specify my email account, the account that I have on Monsters API. So this is my email. I'm going to say yes, confirm. So I'm allowing it to connect to the API. And now I got a one-time password in my email. Let's grab that OPT, let's paste it here. Okay, so I just pasted the, the OTP. Monster is authenticating me. Yes, please, I want to confirm that. Great, now I'm authenticated. Okay, could you please provide me with the hugging face data set path you like to use for fine tuning? I don't know what that is. So I'm going to tell the GPT what my problem is. I sell products. I want to classify the reviews I get from customers. What is a good data set for this? Yeah, let's ask that. For classifying customer reviews, a widely recommended data set is the Amazon reviews data set available on, on Hugging Face. Okay, it's giving me the whole explanation. If you're learning towards one of the data set or if you have specific product category in mind, I can help further by checking the data set availability and its subsets. Uh, yeah, please go ahead. Let's just do that. So it says, okay, I want to talk to data sets. Okay, so always allow. So it's going to do that. It's going right now to the hugging phase list of data sets and it's finding what it can do. It says the Amazon Polarity data set is available and valid for your use case. It comes with two subsets, the train subset and the test subset. It says this data set is suitable for binary sentiment classification tasks. That's exactly what I need categorizing reviews into positive and negative sentiments. Cool. Would you like to proceed with this data set for fine tuning the Mistral 7B model? If so, please let me know if you have any specific requirements or configuration for the fine tuning process. I'm going to say, go ahead with fine tuning and use one epoch. I just want the fine tuning process to just go fast. So let's see what happens now. This is, I mean, the ability for me to talk to a GPT, tell what problem I'm trying to solve and have the GPT recommend a data set and start a fine tuning process for me. I think that is, that is next level. That's super exciting. Apparently starting some sort of action here. It talked to the hugging face. So it's telling me, okay, it's going to be talking now to the API. All right. So I want, I wanted to do that. Cool. The fine tuning process for the Mistral 7B model using the Amazon Polarity dataset has been successfully launched. Your deployment ID is B8 blah blah blah. You will receive updates on the job status via email. Meanwhile, you can also ask me to check the status for you. That's super cool. Let's go really quick and check the Monster API website. I'm going to go to fine tuning and here you have it. You have the resilient Kepler job 
and it's in a queue so it's about to start if i click the job info i can see it's going to be training mistral 7b version 0.1 I want to find the number of epochs because I specified one epoch. Here, here we go. Number training of epochs one, which is great. So this is going to do exactly what I asked it to do. Cool. Let me see what else is doing. Okay. It's going to be using the Amazon Polarity data set. That's awesome. Here is what's really cool. Now that it, it started doing that, I can ask the model. I mean, obviously when it finishes doing that, I can ask the monster GPT to deploy a model. I cannot do it right now because the fine tuning job is still ongoing, but I can ask, can you deploy a model for me? Let's see what it says. Of course, to proceed with deployment and model, I need to know a few details, model name and the use case and the additional configuration that I want, uh, want to do. I'm not going to use it right now, but when the fine tuning job finishes, I could just come here, um, just kick off the deployment process. What's really amazing about this is the ability for this GPT to take my requirements and translate those requirements into specific actions on the Monster API website. So uh, hopefully you find this helpful. I think it's really impressive and I'll see you in the next one.